All right, hey everybody, we're here at the Live Oak Bank event. Uh, and Jeff, I want to ask you, what do you think the biggest problem is right now in campus service and what's the solution? I think our biggest issue we're facing is personnel. We have more people leaving than coming in, and the people coming in aren't staying. And so at some point, there's going to be a nexus where we don't have enough people to fill the roles. I think Dan Assard said it correctly earlier, our education system screwed up, and so that's going to be our issue. It has nothing to do with cremation. I'm going to ask you the same thing. What do you see as a problem? I see the problem that funerals are not going to be funerals in the future. They're going to be events, and that we're not adapted for what the consumer wants. We're adapted for what we think in the business a funeral is, and the consumer's got a completely different definition, and I think the way that we change that is one, education. I think we educate better on what the future of a funeral looks like versus what a funeral by definition needs to be, or we think is. And I think the other is listening. We don't listen to the consumer, we tell the consumer what we think, uh, and we gotta listen to the consumer. It's simple conversation, and when we listen, we then can evolve, and if we don't listen, then we just keep pushing ideas that the consumer doesn't want. There you effing have it, right? Yeah. It's not that hard. It's not that hard. See y'all. We are still here in Florida, and thanks to you, Tim Vincus, who's Absolutely. a superlative, brought us down here. We drank all your liquor, or I did. Ryan's still on the water, yeah, yeah. right? And so we're here to bring industry leaders together from a supplier side, which is unusual, to talk about issues. So from your perspective, what do you see as one of our biggest challenges facing the funeral profession? I believe that uh, new business owners today in the funeral profession in the funeral profession are running the business or trying to run the business like the business was being ran 30, 35, 40 years ago. And I think the changes that have been taking place has kind of snuck up on them um, and are really impacting the margins of the business, the profitability, the cash flow, and forcing them to do price shifts and many other things to the business that's really damaging them. So I think that's a pressing issue. You know what, that uh, that actually gets me really excited because that's what I do in my world. Yes, But you're exactly right. Yeah. The, the issue is it's not how many calls you do, but the profitability. Absolutely. Right, and, and I believe that we have an opportunity with the up and coming, the X-Gens and the Millennials to make this a better business. It's the greatest time to be in business or the worst. Agree? Absolutely. Right. Absolutely. To, the change creates opportunity. And those that, are, those that are willing to learn and observe and, and create action items and, and act on those are going to be really successful. In business. Thanks for having us here this week. It's Absolutely. been awesome. Thank Thanks, you, sir. Thank you so much. Take care. What payment method do you prefer families use for your goods and services? Most funeral homes and cemeteries prefer cash check or credit card over life insurance as the preferred method of payment. However, families who use life insurance are able to purchase the funeral service of their choice and spend 31% more on your goods and services. By encouraging more families to pay with insurance, you can create a better experience for the family and become more profitable without increasing your call volume. The reason most firms prefer cash check or credit card over life insurance is that insurance companies are a hassle to deal with and payment can often take weeks or months to receive. With CJ Financial, you can receive funding within 24 hours of verification of benefit, thereby eliminating the hassle, headache, and cash flow delay in processing insurance death claims. Let us show you why hundreds of funeral homes all across America choose CJ for their assignment funding needs and why many associations, accounting firms, and industry leaders recommend C&J to their clients and members. Hi everybody, we're here in Florida at a summit and Michael, introduce yourself. Hey, glad to see everybody. Mike Eddy, president of Matthew Cemetery Products out of Pittsburgh. And so the question is, what do you see as our biggest problematic issue facing the funeral business and what's the solution? Whether we'd call it problematic or not, but one of the challenges I see is the funeral home helping our customers that we all serve understand the true importance of once they finish the cremation arrangements, what's the permanent solution to those cremated remains? 
two million folks have a death, a million are cremated, 15% make it to a cemetery. The challenge is, what's the 85% message to get those 85% over to the cemetery? The relevant side? Right. It's making the funeral home and the cemetery come closer together is part of the, the challenge or the the challenge that we have to work on as an industry to make them understand there's a real reason to get the consumer to understand their options and that permanent memorialization is extremely important to the cremation family still. There you have it from one of the pros in the industry. All right, another funeral professional or superlative, introduce yourself. Yeah, I'm Brent Baird with Matthews Aurora Funeral Solutions. All right, so Brent. From your perspective, what do you see as one of our greatest challenges in the funeral profession? Well, I think it's the challenge that every funeral director faces every day, is to be able to understand the needs of the today's consumers and ever change the desire of the way they, they want to celebrate funeral service in their life. I got it. And the solution? I think the solution is, quite frankly, is to open up dialogue, be better at discussing and asking questions of the families, uncovering what their individual needs are, and then just figuring out a way to be able to present that and deliver that solution. There is another great idea. Good job. Thank you. Thank you. Live Oak Bank provides finance expertise that inspires funeral home and cemetery owners to grow their business and preserve their legacy. Their funeral home and cemetery lending team understands the profession from top to bottom. They know what business owners like you need to succeed, so they specialize in providing custom financial solutions accompanied by personal service. They're focused on helping you achieve your goals no matter the challenges. All right, we're back with the Funeral Nation down here in Florida. Another funeral pro, the guy, right? <laughs> yeah, well, Introduce yourself. Ken Peterson with Homesteaders Life Company. All right, Ken, so from your perspective, what do you see as our, one of the biggest challenges in our profession? I think the biggest thing is uh, trying to figure out what's around the corner at, with regard to a disruptor. Uh, a friend of mine had had an experience that uh, the hospitality industry is kind of slowly creeping into the funeral business, and his experience was that he went to a, a hotel and for, to, to do something, a wedding or reception, and then saw that there was a memorial service. And his experience, he asked them and found out that they had done 20 or 25 of those that year. And the family spent, I think it was like five or six grand. Wow. So, What's our solution to that? Well, I, I think it's the, uh, the intentional desire to stay relevant. And I think the, the, the desire to be successful through change requires that desire to be relevant through intentional actions. And I think uh, when people feel comfortable, there's not that desire to make the changes before you need to make the changes. And I think that's part of our responsibility as suppliers in this industry is to provide that provocative thinking and so people are willing to make those changes so we don't get surprised. Right, so the impetus is look for change and make it happen. Yes, sir. There you go. Thanks for being here, man. My pleasure. All righty. All right, so this is one of the better looking guys because we have great hair dudes and stuff and everybody's jealous. So introduce yourself. Uh, my name is Steve Feliciano. I'm with Global Atlantic Greeny. I uh, work in the Western United States most of the time. All right, so what is, from your perspective, one of the biggest challenges of our profession? Um, I, I, from my perspective in the Western U.S., it's uh, an extraordinary amount of direct cremations, both at need and pre -need. And the solution? Uh, I think there are two two different avenues I think would help more. More packaging, sold training would help. Um, and, and actually just trying to sell more service, um, consciously sell more service. You know, I disagree with you because if a person today doesn't pre-need and they leave it to a kid to do, the kid's going to choose nothing but cremation. If somebody does it today, they're actually going to plan their service better. Agreed? I think so. Good. You're a smart guy. And you've got great hair. <laughs> Thanks, y'all. Funeral Nation is sponsored by Sitch Casket. Sitch has changed everything for funeral homes facing declining profits from cremation, with casket quality equal to the top domestic brands, but at half the cost or better. Sitch, only your accountant can tell the difference. All right, everybody, we're still here in Effin, Florida. You can tell there's a colorful group here that this is sort of, uh, we've been around a while, right? You're looking good, Dan. Dan's still losing bets. <laughs> what? 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 <laughs> yeah. I didn't lose a bet, I still did this. Yeah. So one of the most interesting guys in our business, Doug, 
welcome. You're, you've been around probably more than 30 years in a business, correct? correct? Yes, thank From you. From your perspective, what do you see as our biggest challenge to our profession? Jeff, I would say apathy. Wow. I don't know and I don't care that I don't know. And, you know, we, we have to have people who care. They care about the people they serve. They don't always care about the business and what's necessary to make the business work. And the solution? Find the people who do care about the business as well as the people they serve. You got to find people who have the mindset to care got about it. the business, not just the not just the people they serve. They all care about the people they serve. Got to find people who care about the business. And Dan, you care about business. I don't care about fashion. No, obviously not. <laughs> it's just not going to happen. So, from your perspective, two guys, you probably you're two of the icons in the business. One what do half. you see? If you're the eye, I must be the con. I'm right? thinking. <laughs> oh my God, it's slapstick all over again. What do you see as one of our biggest uh, challenges? Jeff, the biggest challenge we have is education. Because we're, we have a wrong education system for a business that's moving forward where it's not based upon embalming bodies. It's based upon the front of the house serving families. And we can't have an educational system and a licensing system predicated upon embalming. And the solution? Uh, get rid of these damn jackets and I'll tell you. You know what? <laughs> I'm going to bury you in that one, so just get over yourself. <laughs> Cheers, y'all. Cheers. <laughs>